What's that? Uh, this is just says, uh, I thought it said um, Italy on it, but um, positive morning, bossa music with Italian cafe ambiance. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, That'll be copy, you guys. Every day. So we got a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Got a little bit better uh, angle, maybe. Okay. I don't know. And we're all in it today. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, original. Never mind. Never mind. Let's get the more here. Fancy uh, pre production or whatever uh, uh, studio setup here. So, um, well, good morning. Good morning. So, okay, can, can I what? start with a little introduction here? Oh, yeah, you sure can. Hello and welcome to our daily sales training and kickoff meeting with Tech Solutions Revolution. Today, we are excited to revolutionize your morning routine with some energizing content. Let's dive in. But before we get started, <laughs> let's kick off with a quick warm up. How about 10 push ups to get the blood flowing? If you can, challenge yourself. We can do up to 50. Remember, in sales, consistency is key, just like our daily push-ups. Let's go, Tim. All right. So uh, ready? we'll turn the music back up, and you won't see us for uh, about two minutes. There two you minutes. go. Two minutes or five minutes? Oh, well, it'll take me five. All right, let's go. That's 25. All right, five minutes is up. Five minutes is up. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I know, I know, right? I know 
white sauce on it? What? All right. Uh oh, we gotta fix your hair. Yeah. Good. Okay, guys, it's awesome because I did. I did 11 more push ups than I did yesterday. Got 11 more in today, huh? That is good. Ooh, okay. Ooh, let me start out by giving you a little introduction here. Today we are thrilled to introduce our new brand, T Tech okay. Solutions Revolution. <laughs> okay, there you go, Tech Solutions Revolution. You All right. To... So it's we are going to like shorten it up as a TSR if you want to, or you can. And we are your partners in innovation, simplifying business communications and security under one roof. Whether you are a startup or an enterprise, TSR has got you covered. So um, what is next in our agenda? That was a little introduction, you guys, so you know what this meeting set about yeah uh so what is next is we're going to do uh we'll do the 10 minutes uh of this uh continue this andy elliott video that we've been watching the last couple of days and um and then yeah we'll 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 have a little discussion maybe do a few little pauses here and there we like to watch these videos um to get ideas obviously uh this guy is a super professional and uh, and does does an amazing job training, um, and we've been watching the last couple of weeks, so we're going to watch uh, about ten minutes, have a discussion, and then we'll move on to role playing after that. Sounds so let's good. Let's see. What do you think? Sounds good to you. Oh, look, we can share. How oh, awesome! Ooh. Hold on. Why are you pointing to him? What's he sell? Uh oh, commercial. Hey, listen up. Are you a real estate investor or considering starting investing in real estate? Total immersion. If you ever want to really grow a big, beautiful life, become financially successful beyond imaginable, become obsessed with learning. Okay. All right. Let's keep rolling. Let's roll for a minute. All right. Hold on. Why are you pointing to him? What's he sell? He's a, he owns a mechanic shop. He's, he's, a, he's a diesel mechanic, and he's wanting to grow his company, get new accounts, but he's having a trouble with a few objections. Okay, come here. Come here real quick. Let's bust his ass up for 30 seconds. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to go back down this road, but listen, I just want to say something. What's your name? Mike? Michael. Mike, this is easy, okay? Tell me this. You're going to sell something. You're upselling people on work that needs to be done, or are you selling them on something? I'm selling the service. Okay. Tell me the service. Uh, I have an on-site fleet service. We have service. Uh, no, no, but tell me, tell me, what are you going to try to sell me? Ready? Ten seconds. What do I? What can I buy from you? All right. So. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what, what can I buy? On-site fleet service. Like, can I buy a service? Like, you're going to service my car, or like, I, I'm, so I'm written a diesel from you. Like, what is it? Uh, so you have 38 18 wheelers. Hey, Andy. Uh, Pass by. I saw you have eight 30 18 wheelers, 30 trailers. Uh, we have we offer a okay. So you you see, I have a fleet of trucks, and you want to service them. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Hey, you come to me. Which, by the way, you come to me. You cold you cold pitch people. Am I right? Like, if you find out they have a fleet, you go over there and talk to them. Yes. Okay. So you cold pitch people because you don't know these people. They don't request information about your service. You go talk to them first. Yes. Okay. You guys get it. He cold pitches people. So he, he finds out I got 18, 18 wheelers sitting over here. Or I've got a fleet of whatever, right? He walks over. He's like, hey, man, what's going on? I just want to tell you, I obviously got a big fleet. I don't know who your does your service, but I would like to take over that account. Am I correct? Right. Okay. Hey, I really appreciate it. All right. Before he gets into this, let's uh, let's, let's stop and talk because we've got people watching us watching this. Yeah. Uh, cool. So get uh, anything from that first couple of minutes, uh, that interaction with this guy? Yes, uh, he wasn't prepared with his uh, 30 second sales pitch. That's what I was thinking. You know, I know there was a little bit of confusion there. Um, not exactly sure. I don't know if it's necessarily from Andy's side. 
they they didn't seem to like hit it off, right? But at the same point, the guy he's got his own business and he wasn't prepared with that pitch. That's what you see a lot of folks, yeah. and I think that's really the service that guys like Andy are, are providing to their customers, their clients, sitting in these you know hotel uh, banquet spots. halls. Is yeah, a guy comes up, he says, well, what do you sell? And the guy doesn't exactly even know how to tell him what he sells. And it's, Correct. you know, I know there's pressure there because there's people, but it's really interesting that a lot of salespeople especially don't really have that really tight explanation of what they sell or that, you know, even to, it always seems like it's more confusing than it needs to be. Yeah. Or more so difficult. People make it more difficult than it is. Keep yeah. it simple, guys. You have to have that 30 second pitch down if you don't i would say don't even attend a meeting like this well, a seminar like this it, maybe maybe you should though maybe that's the eye opener you know like oh yes, my gosh but wouldn't you with the technology that we have nowadays be a little prepared at least to throw something and then you know get it refined by him i've been around enough salespeople now over the last few years to know that most sales people don't have that good pitch and oh that's, they're winging it they're winging it yeah they're winging all right it. here we go it, but I've already got somebody I've been using for the last eight years. I'm good. Go. Big Fleet, I don't know who your does your service, but I would like to take over that account. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. Hey, I really appreciate it, but I've already got somebody I've been using for the last eight years. I'm good. Go. Come on. That's that. Okay. No, 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 no. What are you going to say, though? Like, you're going to say, oh, I'm out. Um. This is a metabolism oh, yeah. killer. This is a metabolism killer. And this is a metabolism killer. I'm going to need to get an ad blocker if we're going to do this. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Hey, Andy, we are planning hey, you. Hey, listen, my name is Michael. I know we haven't met yet, but what I've learned and research shows that a lot of these service truck companies, that is a big service truck companies that does your stuff, do they have a lot of accounts? Yes. Yeah. What I've learned is as they become bigger accounts, they forget about their customers. Okay. My name's Michael. I'm only looking to take on about 10 or 15 fleet accounts. That's it. You know why? Because service of my customers at the highest level is extremely important to me. Look, I'm going to ask you a question. You sound really loyal to the company you're currently with i'm wondering if that loyalty is coming back to you as loyal as you are to them can i ask you a question have you noticed any discounts come across your your table in the last year where they've allowed you to save money by being a loyal customer probably not you know what i've learned by buying insurance my insurance company i had the same insurance company for 10 years you know who they were giving the best deals to new customers and i overpaid as a loyal customer this is what we commonly see which is why I never want to be one of the big guys. What I want to do is that I want to find 10, 15 clients that I can give everything to and that I want to be loyal to. And I want to make sure that when you spend your money, the job gets done right, but also you save as much as you can because I understand this isn't a nonprofit. Would you agree? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Would you mind if you showed me what you currently are doing now with what you have? And if I could offer something better with even more loyalty, would you allow me to at least give you a five minute proposal? Could I show it to you? Absolutely. Okay. Here's my point. I, guys, absolutely, absolutely can resound with his message. And I love the fact that he brought it up so clearly. So Andy says something about, you know, uh, insurance companies. And he says, well, you have been loyal to your insurance company for 10 years. And guess what? Who, who do you think uh, get the biggest deals or biggest discounts? The new customers. So true, that happened to me. 10 years plus or 11 years plus with uh, our insurance company, car insurance company, and same thing. The rates were only going up every year. Uh, same thing with Verizon Wireless. So, yeah. All right, let's listen to uh, the end. Let's uh, have Andy wrap this up, and then that'll probably be about the time what for this. What did I do? I say, have you noticed a lot of these guys get really big and you're really loyal to them? But the question is, how loyal are they to you? See, I promise you, there is a way to frame every conversation to get people to turn around their decision. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, listen, I, I'm just going to say something, right? You, you seem a little bit scared. And I know you're starting a new business. 
but I need you to understand something. You're going to have to not be afraid of nothing. You're going to have to walk in like that's your freaking fleet. Can I explain this to everybody? If I were to take an account down, I'm going to walk in like that's my place. If you're a salesman and you work in a company and you don't walk in like that's your company, you're going to get your ass kicked. Those are my cars. That's my lot. That's my finance department. That's my dealership. This is my business. I'm not an employee. This is my business, my business. So I take care of my shit. I walk over. My office is always clean because that's my business. I need you to understand something. When you walk in, you need to walk in like you own it. Don't walk in like you're trying to crowd, please. Walk in like you own it. And then you walk out like you sold it. Like Bradley always says, you walk out like you sold it. Like I just sold that shit. That's done. That's easy. You walk in like you own it though. People can see in your eyes when you're scared. People can see in your eyes that you're praying, don't hit me with something. Okay, or I'm hoping. Don't hope people are gonna do nothing. See this, see this mind? I wanna give you an example. Okay, do you want people to have the courage to give you an option to see a proposal, yes or no? Do you want people to do something they've never done, an exception just one time, to do something different with you, yes or no? Yeah. Okay, well, you're gonna have to let them borrow that courage. Okay, when I'm sitting at a kitchen table with a family or I'm sitting down in a dealership with a client, they can get the courage from me to pass go and move forward. I'm going to give them the courage. Who? Oh, that's huge. <clears throat> what do you guys think? You sit at the dinner table? <laughs> well, I mean, I, 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 there's, there's definitely... There's definitely something to giving people courage and your confidence, uh, you know, walking in like you own it, you know, being confident. I have seen that in person. I have been that in person, but I've also been the not so confident person, you know, uh, in the room or on the phone. But I've also been the person with the confidence uh, and the courage. But moreover, I have seen the people who can do that. And you know, we talk about Jim Smoltz. That was one thing Jim Smoltz did. He had this huge character. And as soon as he went in, and you talk about all the time, right? Somebody who changes the energy in the room all right. or changes, you know, just changes the vibe in the room. That was what that guy did. And he wasn't, it's funny because when I knew him that, that year, he wasn't even like a great salesman. He was just somebody who came in and changed the energy of the room and the people in the room had the confidence to trust him or that he had the confidence they trusted him and, and, it, and it worked. It was really interesting. So I think it's, there's definitely, uh, who would you rather buy from Andy or the guy he's training right now? All right. You'd rather I, buy from yeah. Andy. Anybody would say that anybody who would say, Oh no, I'd rather have the other guy. Cause you know, it's like, no, you wouldn't, you want this guy. Cause he, he's going to make you feel comfortable in, 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 good about spending your money on whatever product it is he's selling. You know, towards that, I want to make a point here. There is this concept of embeddedness. I am learning in psychology, which is connecting everything to a puzzle to make the big puzzle work, right? So, for example, in this case, to me, embeddedness comes from you have to be confident in every area of your life. If you are missing confidence in one area of your life and confident in this area, guess what? You're going to be iffy, right? One day you're going to feel confident and the other day you're not. And then the next day, yes, you do feel confident. And, you know, it's on and off. And that's not what you want. You want consistency. Over a period, long period of time, you are consistent with your confidence. You are consistent with your showing up, Okay. So with this said, and to summarize it, confidence comes from every area. And to me, three, I'm going to give you three examples. <coughs> if you, you know, if you feel confident with your body, if you feel confident with how your family is being run, and if you feel confident in business, those three areas tied in to make you this, you know, to give you this great vibe about you and walking in a room and you just exude that confidence and vibe. All right. Well, very good. No, this was this was good. I mean, you, you see a guy come up who, yeah, he's he's timid because he doesn't have the confidence uh, because he probably doesn't know his business as well as he thinks he does, or 
he knows it really well. He's just never been able to find a voice or the way to really express it. And maybe he is kind of a more introverted person. Maybe he is, uh, you know, maybe, maybe he doesn't have the confidence. Maybe he has the information, but he doesn't have the confidence to get up in front of people. Um, obviously Andy has the benefit of this is what he does. He's always in front of people. So it's a lot easier for him, but that guy needs to, you know, like all of us needs to learn to, to have that confidence and get up in front of everybody and really know what he's talking about. Um, and then, yeah, I think, um, I think Andy just really demonstrates on how you have to own it. So that's, it's good. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's good. I like to see the confidence and, you know, it's interesting because you see Andy's confidence and that comes through in the video to me, at least like, wait, if he can do it, why can't I do it? Why, why, what, why shouldn't I be able to do it? You know? Well, and you know what? That comes also to add to that preparation and, and, and learning and education. Education will give you at the end of the day, the confidence that you need in order to succeed in any aspect of your life. So yeah. we are here to learn, we are here to study, and we are here to educate ourselves uh, so we can give our customers the best of us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we need to uh, shift gears. There you I go. To, okay, uh, so hope. we, I am going to give a little introduction here. So now let's dive in into some role playing to sharpen our sales skills. Imagine you're approaching a potential client for window washing services. Start with a warm greeting and smoothly introduce your services, highlighting the benefits and addressing any concerns and concerns they may have. So with that said, I think, you know, Isaiah here is going to show us just that. So should we stand? Should we stay in this? Position, what do you think? Standing is better. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So you want to start with him, babe? Yeah. Um, yeah. You can unplug it. I mean, everything's charged there. Stick it over here. If you need it. Do you have yours? Because for some yes. reason that one doesn't seem. Maybe I keep giving it back. To, oh, because you followed me yesterday. That's right. Okay, let me pull this up. You know, it's going to just a second. This hair is not good. The hair is not good? No. I feel like I need to buzz it. I think so too, yeah. I think you probably should. It's time for a new look. Yes, definitely. Okay, let's start. Something. All right. <clears throat> All right. Who is it? Hello, hello. How's it going, sir? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. My name's Isaiah. Have you seen me working on the street at all today? Uh, no, I have not, actually. You have not. Okay. Gotcha. Well, like I said, my name is Isaiah to tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. I'm helping out a few of the neighbors, doing some window washing for them, doing all the windows top to bottom, doing all the frames, the sills, the tracks, and all the actual panes of glass are getting hand scrubbed. Wanted to stop by and see if that was something that you'd be opposed to getting done. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, it's not really something I'm in the budget right now. Not in the budget right now. Yeah. I totally understand it. Um, budgeting can definitely be tough, but just picture this, you know, Imagine how amazing it would feel to come home to a nice sparkling. Ooh, uh, uh, imagine how it would feel to come home to sparkling clean windows that let in a lot of beautiful sunlight. And don't worry about breaking the bank. Our services aren't terribly expensive. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, I don't. Uh, I don't think my windows are really even all that bad. Okay. Okay. I hear you on that. It's definitely easy to overlook those windows until you see the difference a good washing can make. 
Um, just picture this, though. Your, your home is bathed in natural sunlight. You got crystal clear views of the outside world in your neighborhood. And uh, that's exactly what our professional touch can turn your windows into. Picture frames for the outside world. So why don't we get that done? Uh, listen, man, the, uh, I've had some bad experience with some previous window washers in my life. Oh, man, that, uh, that's definitely a bummer, man. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. But uh, listen, we're not your average window washers. We're more like your trusted friends who happen to be really good at making windows shine. Imagine having someone that you can rely on that takes pride in their work and always leaves your, your windows looking good. Yeah, listen, uh, I think I'm just going to do it myself. Just going to do it yourself. You know what? I definitely admire your can-do attitude, but uh, think about this. Instead of spending your precious time this weekend or whenever you do it, wrestling or breaking out all of the ladders, the squeegees, imagine uh, just kicking back, drinking a cold drink, and uh, – Letting us take care of everything for you. How's that sound? Uh, listen, I'm just not sure if it's worth the investment. Okay, you're not sure if it's worth the investment. I also get where you're coming from on that. But uh, think about this. Every time you glance out your uh, your beautifully clean windows, it's like a little boost of joy, and you're getting uh, a reminder that you take pride in your home's longevity. Plus, our services aren't just an expense. They're an investment to your home. All right. Well, if we ran through those. Mm -hmm. um, those are next time. Not my, not my, not my, not my. I'm gonna say more, right more energy on that. Like, uh, not, not well, I think it's, I think it, yeah, it's again, it's something that you and I both have to, 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 to fight. Mom, you know, she likes doing it. Uh, I don't know if it's because we're guys or if it's because we're whatever. Um, but I don't feel like <clears> – <throat> I feel there's more emotion, more passion we can put into what we're doing without – you know, I, I think we probably think that it's, it's a little, like, I don't know, silly, probably because I, I we're guys. Just, we say, think it's silly. I feel like a little um, – I don't know. Yeah. However, silly. I think we can really uh, – we can bring it up a notch uh, and, and do better, so. Okay, let's go with the next one. So, would you like to start with yours this time? All right, I'll start with mine. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna come take over, Isaiah, for you being right. the customer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Here you need to come in. A little bit. Okay. Well, a lot. Look, you're. Why are you waiting? Okay, on so the this edge? this way for me then. Okay. There you go. Okay, so just to be consistent. So, um, ring oh, ring. Oh, no, I gotta do the ring ring. Yes. <laughs> no, no, you are actually the, the I am the customer. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I think I got the right one, right? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yes. I think there so. There you go. I just got a sideway, guys. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right, ring ring. Hello. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Hey, Jasmine. Uh, Jason Tyler here. Uh, this is a sales call. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, you did not. All right, cool. Well, listen, I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, I'm JT calling from Utah, USA here in Auburn Hills. Have you heard of us before? No, I have not. Oh, hold on a minute. I need to stop. Hold on. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, um, I forgot. We're recording. I'm sorry. I had a different one. I thought I had printed it out. Maybe I didn't. And yeah, now you really script. Just do this one and then we can do the next one together. Okay. You got it. All right. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. How you doing? Uh, Jasmine? Yes, this hey, is she. Hey, Jasmine. Jason Tyler here. Uh, this is a sales call. Did I, did I catch you at a bad time? No, you did not. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, listen, like I said, I'm JT calling from Utah, USA here in Auburn Hills. Have you heard of us before? I don't think I have. All right. Well, that's why I'm calling. Uh, we provide our clients with world-class data and voice networks while helping them stay digitally protected with cybersecurity. Now, I know you have a guy, your current services are perfect, and you're busy. Um, so I was calling today. I wanted to see, would it be uh, would it be a ridiculous idea for me to call you back this Thursday at 11 a.m.? To get five minutes of your time. You know, we have a guy, a company, I think. 
Yeah, no, listen, I totally get it and uh, respect your loyalty. Quite frankly, your company wouldn't be on my list if you didn't have somebody already. Um, however, what we found is, you know, we're, we're able to, uh, our what we found is our solutions are able to help businesses, even if they have an existing partner, um, improve efficiency, security, and have had some other unexpected benefits. Would it be impossible to get 10 minutes on your calendar this Thursday at 11 o'clock to discuss a little bit further. You know, we're all set. Good and happy. We are not interested right now. I got you. Listen, I understand you guys are, you guys are content with what you have. Uh, you know, most people when I call aren't actively looking to make changes that day. Um, but what we have found is that our solutions have helped numerous businesses improve efficiency, security, and had other unexpected benefits. Um, would it be impossible for you to make five minutes on Thursday to just give me five minutes of your attention on Thursday at 11 o'clock um, to, to discuss more? We are too small. I'm sorry. Listen, I understand you guys are small, but even small businesses these days are susceptible to cybersecurity threats and can still benefit from optimizing IT, communi IT and communications. Would it be impossible to make 10 minutes on your calendar this Thursday for me to call back? and that we can discuss a little bit further. Uh, you know what? We have this in-house, we do it ourselves. Gotcha. Listen, I completely understand. Uh, and that's great for you guys. You guys are still doing things in-house. Um, what we have found, though, is that we work with a lot of in-house IT companies. And what we found is that we're able to help improve efficiency, security, and have had some other unexpected benefits. Would it be impossible to make five minutes on your calendar this Thursday at 11 a.m. for me to call back and us discuss in a little bit more detail. You know, we have a, a guy, an IT company. I think. Uh, yeah, we're back. Yes, we're, we're back. back. Okay, so we are done, actually. We right? did Is budget, the budget? going on okay. there? So budget. So, yes, we have a tight budget right now. Listen, as a, as a business owner myself, I understand having to stay within budget. Um, what we have found, though, is that uh, our solutions not only – can help your business improve efficiency, security, but we've also found other ways where we can find some significant savings. Uh, would it be impossible to get 10 minutes on your calendar this Thursday at 11 a.m. to discuss further? Um, you know what? We were just, uh, no, you got cool. me. Got yeah, you got me. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. Uh, quick question with the, with the ending, because you and me seem to do it a lot. We try to switch up the ending where we say, uh, we're like, trying to get that appointment or we're trying to close them or whatever i was thinking would it just be better to have like one in one or two in rotation that, that we say that should only be one or only okay, until okay. we can get good enough to handle multiple mm -hmm. and i don't know why i'm bouncing around like that it's because i it's because i i think it's probably because i'm not exactly sure what i should say there and i'm trying to figure it out um Okay, so you know what? Why don't we work on that? So that would be the best. Well, I know. So I think this is a good time about, for yeah. a conversation. Yeah. And I don't think, I mean, unless okay. you think it's a bad thing to have it right now, because this is what I this is what I do. What, like when we get to here mm -hmm. and we run through this, I'm not satisfied with what I'm saying right now. I really am not happy with what I'm saying and how I'm doing it. Okay. okay. And then we end this and I have to start making calls. I don't have time to fix mm -hmm. what I'm not happy with. No, I understand. So, so, so saying, well, let's just cut this off can... and go. It's kind of no. like I'm like I get I get a little I get a little frustrated. Okay, so then you know how can we work on like you know setting a schedule for it so that when if we can have that time to work on yeah. it. Yeah, well, this would be an ideal time because again we're okay. on the topic about you know, we're okay. talking okay. about it right now. No, I know. I, I completely understand your point, Isaiah, but don't we have an agenda and we got to tie it in time? Yeah, so do, just... but there are things that, that, that we can practice in between as well. well yeah, that's think about in between. true. So let, I'll let you decide. Well, no, I think for, for right now, let's stick yeah. with our agenda. So now you and Isaiah can go. Okay. Um, Sounds good. And then um, we'll stick to it for now. I think it's yeah, something, I, yeah, something for improvement. Okay, so let's go with Isaiah. All right. Let's see this window washing over here. Ha ha. Okay. Hello. Oh, 
man, opened up the door before I was able to finish up knocking. How's it going? Well, I saw you out uh, walking, so I thought I figured that you were coming to my house. Well, so I was uh, ready and prepared for you. You've got the answer to my first question, which was, have you seen me working at all on the street? Since you have, to tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. Okay. I'm helping out a few of the neighbors, doing some window washing for them. We're doing all the windows top to bottom. We're scrubbing down the frames, the sills, the tracks, and all of the actual panes of glass are getting hand washed. I wanted to stop by and see if that was something you'd be opposed to getting done while I'm in the neighborhood. Well, you know, I can't afford window washing right now, uh, but uh, if listen, you want listen, to stop, yeah. I, I, listen, I totally get you. You know what? I understand budgeting can be tough, but I just want you, want you to imagine how amazing it would feel for you to come home to some sparkling clean windows, letting in all that beautiful sunlight. Don't worry about breaking the bank. Our payment, our, our prices are not expensive. Or, hmm. Hold on. All right, go to the next one. I don't think my windows really need cleaning, to tell you the truth. I really think that your windows no. need cleaning. Okay, a lot of people think the same. But it's definitely easy to overlook those windows until you see a difference, the difference that a good washing can make. Picture this, your home is bathed in natural sunlight. You got crystal clear views of the outside world. You can see the so beautiful sure neighborhood that you live in. Well, that is what our professional touch offers for your windows. So why don't we get that done for you? You know, I have had bad experience, to tell you the truth, with oh window gosh. washers you in had, the past. You had bad experiences? Yes. That is a bummer, and I'm sorry to hear that. But uh, listen, we're not your average window washers. We're more like your trusted friends who happen to be really good at making windows shine. I just want you to imagine this. You have someone to rely on and a company to rely on when you need your windows washed, and we always leave your windows looking good. Well, I just saw it myself, to tell you the truth. You just do it yourself. Yes. I, uh, man. Got a lot of objections here. I, uh, I definitely I admire your can-do attitude, though. Think about this. Instead of spending your precious time breaking out the ladders and the squeegees and going through all that hassle, imagine kicking back with a cold drink and letting us take care of everything and letting us take care of, uh, of that for you. Why don't we get that done? You know what? You made me think of a vacation. I am not sure if this this is worth the investment right now. <laughs> not, not sure if it's worth the investment. I, I get where you're coming from on that as well. Imagine this, though. Every time that you pull into your driveway, it's like getting a little boost of joy. It's a reminder that you take pride in your home. And uh, plus, our services aren't just an expense. They're an investment to your home's longevity. So why don't we get that done for you? You got me. Uh, buy your services. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay, I'm going to take a minute here. Intermission. Not intermission. I no, guess I we're like, just going to hold on. I feel on like, uh, like uh, Bumblebee and Transformers. You feel like Bumblebee you and know, Transformers? You know, you know why I feel like Bumblebee and Transformers? Why? And, and I, <coughs> I, feel like, I feel like this is me exactly. Throughout all the movies from, from start to the end, where it's uh, The Return of the Night, which is the last one, Bumblebee is, he doesn't have his voice box, you know? <laughs> his voice box is literally missing, and, and Bumblebee, like, has, his confidence is very low, because he, every time he goes to talk, it, it, you know, he's either got, like, a woman's voice, or it's just not, the, it's not his voice, and he's like, every, every movie, they're trying to figure out, like, what his voice is, they're like, interchanging voice boxes and like stuff like that and by the end in the return of the night something happens where he gets put in like a situation and that real voice comes out and he like finally finds it and i'm like i feel like that's me and i'm like <laughs> i'm waiting for that situation to come where like my my, my real voice comes out and i'm like ah oh. and you find it yeah i i, 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 I actually i think that's a really good analogy to <laughs> um doing sales because I think the truth be told is you can watch sales trainers. You can listen to people who have been in sales for a long time. Um, there's definitely things that you need to do. But finding your own voice, and that's probably true in a lot of things in life, you know, but finding your own voice and what you're comfortable with. Again, like Andy Elliott, we've seen. There are things that you need to do. 
there are rules, right? There's like certain ways to do things, like any other profession or anything else. There are certain ways to do things. Mm -hmm. And in sales is no different. They, there are certain ways to do it. Now, finding your voice and how you do that, that, that is really the difficult thing. And I think that's what you see when you see really, really successful people in sales is that they are very comfortable. They know the rules. They know the game. And they're very comfortable being themselves within those rules. Mm. And I don't know. So <clears throat> can we take a look at the time here frame? And yeah, so we, we got 20 minutes left. 20 minutes left. Okay. And then we have to do the... Um, well, what did they do? It, you didn't do your pitch. Oh, no, yeah. You didn't do yours didn't yet. You didn't do yours. Me and Dad... And dad didn't run through his a second time for me. That's right. Okay, so I did actually do a little introduction. <coughs> that was part oh, of sorry. it to make it shorter. No problem. To make it shorter. It's not good. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I can do it uh, just uh, a regular one. So we'll go, over your, we'll go over yours real quick. Do your, your whole stand-up thing. And then okay. I'll go through with dad one more time on his. And then you can do yours. And, and we'll end off the, we'll end off the uh, role play there. Okay, I I do have a little problem. I gave my page to Annabella to work on the on the um, social media portion, so I'm gonna just wait the old one. Okay. Hold on. Let me get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? So I'm pointing over here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, hey, everyone. I am Mariela from Tech Solutions Revolution, where we are revolutionizing tech solutions. Imagine a world where all your tech needs are met seamlessly under one roof, data and voice to cybersecurity. We are your partners for life. Our approach, think of us as your tech concierge. Simplifying the process with clarity and no upfront costs. Whether you are a startup or a seasoned enterprise, TSR has got you covered. Let's make technology work for you. Join us in this exciting journey. Thank you. Best one yet. <clears throat> All right, Ned. All right, let's do it. Mom have it? Do you have a uh, oh yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. <clears throat> I just thought of it. Okay, good. Do you want me? How are we losing this? I know, right? <laughs> okay, so just mine start. I, uh, mine was two sided, and okay, that was start kind of small. Well, that can start, and then I look for the second page I see for you. Remember, mine is two sided. Yeah, I know. Hold on. You might have it. I don't know. No, it's fine. I can I can memorize it. We got a guy. We're all set. Not interested. Yeah. Then the what is, what is hold on. We're too small budget in house. Here, I'll hold it like this. Yeah, I don't know how we uh, <coughs> keep losing it. How we keep losing it. Okay. Right. Oh well. So we got it. We're learning. Uh, these will be some fun ones to watch a year from now. <laughs> yes, for sure. All right. Ring ring. <laughs> yes. Hello. Who is this? Hey, Isaiah. Jason Tyler here. Um. Hey, this is a sales call. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, you didn't. What's uh, what's going on? All right, cool. Hey, listen, like I said, I'm JT, calling from Utah, USA, here in Auburn Hills. Have you heard of us? I have. You guys are a tech company, correct? That's correct. That's exactly why I'm calling. Uh, listen, we provide our clients with world-class data and voice networks, as well as, uh, you know, keeping them protected digitally through some advanced cybersecurity uh, practices. Now, I know you guys have a guy already. Your current services are probably perfect. You're not looking to make any changes. And uh, if you're like me today, you're pretty busy. Um, would uh, 
would it be impossible to get 10 minutes on your calendar later this week uh, for a more formal introduction? Yeah, it would be just because uh, we've got a guy. Listen, I got you. I completely understand. I respect your loyalty. But quite frankly, you wouldn't be on my list if you didn't. Our solutions, uh, even even working with existing partners, our solutions have had uh, numerous business benefits, uh, improving efficiency, security, and uh, and some other unexpected benefits. Hmm. Now, would it be completely ridiculous to make five minutes of uh, to, to make ten minutes on your calendar for me this Thursday at eleven a.m. Yeah, just for the reason that uh, JT, we are all set. You guys aren't interested. No. Listen, no, I understand. I, am. I understand, and uh, if, if you're content with what you guys currently have, uh, most folks, when I call them, are not looking to make changes the day that I make that call. Um, however, what we have found is that even with your existing services, our solutions have helped numerous businesses improve efficiency security and had some other un, unexpected benefits okay would it be ridiculous would it be a ridiculous idea for you to make 10 minutes on your calendar this thursday at 11 a.m to discuss further yes and for one reason and one reason only we are too small of a company you guys are too small yes sir. listen i completely understand you guys are small but even small businesses these days are under threat uh, and susceptible to cybersecurity threats, and you can still and and they're still able to benefit from um, optimizing IT and communications. Would it be a ridiculous idea to make ten minutes on your calendar this Thursday for me to have a little bit more in depth conversation of some of these services? Yeah, money's running a little tight right now. Pockets are too deep. So. Gotcha. Listen, I, I hear you there, man. The inflation's crazy. Um, but as a business owner myself, I understand the importance of staying on budget. Our solutions have helped multiple businesses not only improve efficiency, security, but also find significant savings with some of their services. Would it be a ridiculous idea to make 10 minutes for me this Thursday at 11 a.m. to discuss further? Yeah, everything's handled in-house. So, Gotcha. So you guys are still handling everything uh, at your own IT team? That is correct. I respect that. That's great. One thing that we found is working hand-in-hand -hand with those in-house IT teams we are able to still bring improved efficiencies, security, right. and had some other really cool unexpected benefits. Would it be impossible to make 10 minutes on your time, or would it be a ridiculous idea to take 10 minutes this Thursday at 11 a.m. to speak with me a little bit further, see if there's something there we might be able to do for you guys as well? All right, let's do it. All right. Well, you're up again. Okay. I'm going to fourth hole just by myself. Well, yeah, you got to practice your thing, right? Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Trying to find the right angle here is difficult. Okay. Hey, everyone. I am Mariela from Tech Solutions Revolution. We are revolutionizing tech solutions. Imagine a world where all of your tech needs are seamlessly met under one roof, from data and voice to cybersecurity. We are your partners for life. Our approach, think of us as, as your tech concierge, simplifying the process with clarity and no upfront costs. Whether you are a startup or a seasoned enterprise, TSR, Tech Solutions Revolutions, has got you covered. Let's make technology work for you. Join us on this exciting journey. Thank you. All right. So the role playing part is done, I guess, right? Okay. How are we on timing here? 8.50. Okay. So we have, what, 10 minutes to review the vocabulary words? Or, yeah, do or a less? Kind of, uh, Five. End review of the beat. That's okay. What we're doing now. Well, I want to add a little um, something that I have prepared here yesterday. So as we move forward with TSR, let's remember to maintain a professional tone and clear communication. Our goal is to provide top-notch services that our clients can rely on, like having a trusted friend, friend in the tech industry. And that's how important it is. So with that, I will leave it to you guys. Um, and you know you can continue with 
you know, what is in the agenda here. All right. Um, so, yeah, what do we have? We've got 10 minutes. Um, what, uh, Isaiah, do you have our yes. vocabulary word of the day? Oh, I do. I do. I do. Pull that up for you. All right. I'm glad you guys are ready. Okay. All right. Hold on. Just a minute. Okay. Ready. Butters. Huh? Butters. <laughs> How do you spell butters? <laughs> U T T. No, really. R E S S. Okay. B U T T R E S T. Yeah. S T or S S. B U T T R E S S. Oh, S S. Okay. Buttress. Yeah, buttress. I know what a buttress is, I think. Oh, he said it differently, though. Buttress. But, but, but. Okay, so give me the definition. <laughs> a buttress is a structure built against a wall in order to support or strengthen it. Hold so on, one more time. A buttress is a structure built against a wall in order to support. Or strengthen it. Okay. Buttress. Yeah. So um, it's a structure built against the wall in order to support or strengthen it. Yeah. So you can use, I mean, I've heard the word buttress used in other ways, but yeah, that is that's a buttress. <laughs> Well, let's use it in a vocabulary sentence. <laughs> oh, um, boy, how, um, I think I've heard it used in other ways. <sighs> Buttress. Um, the construction crew built a sturdy buttress to keep the house from falling. Does that make sense? Well, I just uh, have one here that popped up. So her performance was but rest by years of dedicated practice and a deep understanding of the craft of self. Oh, yeah. See, so buttress, that's what I was thinking when he said buttress. Yeah, the definition is a structure to hold up a wall. Right. But I knew that I've heard it used in another in other ways. Yeah. How do we like that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so could you read it again? A, so her performance <coughs> was but rest by years of dedicated practice and a deep understanding of the craft. Yeah, so it was supported and strengthened. Yes. So it was supported and strengthened mm -hmm. by her what? By years of dedicated practice oh. and a deep understanding of the craft of sales. Sounds good. All right. So do you want to come up with one? I haven't had one yet, so if I do, I will. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so here's one. Uh, okay. The new evidence provided by the witness will buttress the prosecution's case against the defendant. Ooh. Support. Yeah, a good word for support. Yes, I like it. We're going to keep practicing. Coming up with new ones. Oh, so what is we can, okay. Our services can buttress your IT <laughs> department. Ooh. Your existing in-house IT department. Write it down. Yes. Good one. I like so it. Can be buttressed. But, but Not butt rest. Oh. Buttress. Buttress. Oh, that's what I said. Buttress. <laughs> butt rest. <laughs> butt rest. <laughs> All right. So um, how many <clears throat> minutes do we have here? Are we running on time? Well, we've got five. Um, five. Wow. Yeah. That's so we are good. running on, the, on time. Well, if we... Um, let's see here. If we... Um, let's see. Uh, let's since we have some time here, 
Yes. How about we talk about the words that we previously came up with in the sales industry, which were not to use the word price. What do we use for that? Does anybody remember? Uh, Instead of price, what do we use? Is it investment? Investment, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 100 or 10 points for Jason here. Okay, how about sold or? Well, you had contract. Oh, contract. What was the other was word agreement. for contract? Agreement. agreement. Yes. Treaty. There treaty. you go. Treaty. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds way up high. I how think. about those deals? <laughs> deals. Oh, that's a good one. Deals. Let me think. Uh, opportunity. Ooh, opportunity. It's an opportunity for you. <coughs> Offer. Offer. Mm. Buys. No. That was okay. So buy. Offer. Involved. A involved. Being involved in. We want you to get. We want to get you involved in, and <coughs> then you know whatever you want to say after, right? Well, I had owning and acquire. Maybe oh, involved okay. in. Maybe. Okay. I like that. So could you repeat that one more time? Buys. Buys. Owning or acquiring. Owning or acquiring. I like that. Instead of buying, you are owning something. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, and, uh, sell. Sell. To sell. Okay, so that was the involved. Getting someone involved instead of selling them. I guess it could have been. I don't have that one written down. I had uh, advise and acquire. Yeah, I don't but. think I brought my uh, gray folder. I brought my orange one. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So with that said, we're going to wrap it up early today. And my conclusion here as we wrap up, up today's session, let's reflect on how we can make TSR and here, um, <coughs> Isaiah's company, wash them up. Wash them up. The go-to name <coughs> in business communications or window washing uh, for Isaiah. So share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more exciting updates. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you. Ah, number two, in the can. In the can. <laughs>